Absolutely. So again, we're going to see this, and I, th- it's actually funny. I just said absolutely again, and I said it again. But um, somebody has been tweeting at me all night, telling me how many times he's got an absolutely counter for how many times I've said it tonight. So far, with that last statement, don't even say that. But with the last statement, um, I was up to I think like eleven times <laughs> over the course of the night. That is yeah. absolutely outrageous. I did Baker Street. I actually recorded a vod of that as well as Alias. So. I believe I put that on there. It took me a minute to figure it out, but we nailed it. So it looks like we are going to have an, an A hit coming out here from the CT side, or the Terra side, pardon me, and beautiful execution from them. They threw the pop flash out from A main and completely annihilated the defenses over there. Silent actually getting a 5-7 out of his troubles here. And they're going to be going for it here. Imps to try to make his way around a cat box. He's not going to be able to find it. And another one for Silent. That's three on the round for him. Looking for that final frag down there onto Imsta. Lobs out the nade, and the Tech Nines are coming out, and Strubber's going to finish him off. So a great job across the board for Paradox. They only lose mainline. Yeah, that, that pop flash was was absolutely perfect, and hey, what made it more perfect was the timing of it because the mouse fest players were readjusting their positioning. They weren't they weren't set up in what in the setup they wanted to be in. So Fruit was trying to make his way over to a different angle, and he caught it full force. And just that explosion from Paradox just destroyed, just decimated that defense. So fantastic timing and execution. Yeah, as soon as well, they adjusted their position because they heard the squeaky door open, and boom, flashbang comes out, and the charge comes in. So great job there from Paradox opening up that pistol round and. Now they've got it all to do. If they can continue to string some rounds together on the T side, what has been uh, largely rumored as the slightly more difficult side here on the uh, DE Cash. And look at this Polly playing in the backside of Checkers. He's going to find one, finds two, and Polly, he's done that lurking so well. And he seems to turn nothing into something almost every time. That nade's going to catch him out a little bit. Takes him down to 15, but he's still holding strong in the backside of the Checkers. Finally dispatched by Strepper, but not before he does 50 points of damage to him. Yeah, and Austin's going to be really tough for Mouse Maz. The hit's coming in, but the Mice grabs one. And just to get straight it off, and here's, uh, here's Paradox making a little bit of a comeback down to a two on two, but the health is just so low from them. The, oh, through the smoke is silent. He opens things up for his team. So now Fruit. Oh, he's got to feel lonely now. That's unfortunate. What looks so good. I mean, the health is still very low. He could he can make this happen easily. All he needs is a couple of Tapperoonies. He might be able to find one out, but they spot his shoulder, and Justin's going to bide his time and take him down. So Paradox. A close one. Yeah, and here, here's, here's the issue with that is we, we've seen them switch to SMGs on that second round because they're, they're with the buff and everything. The first two players that came out of that and into checkers had an AK-47 and a Galil. Uh, so not a lot of utility for them. Like nades, well, I'm thinking nades. Like if, you, we saw Cloud9 take their anti because very slow, use their nades, use their Molotovs to clear spots out. None of that was done there by Paradox. So that's why they got caught out by Polly. You know, they could throw a nade out there, deal some damage, make them feel uncomfortable, but they weren't even looking for it. So just not cautious enough. Yeah, not clearing their angles properly. They had a guy drop out of vent looking at it, but he just got caught completely unawares by it and the double from him. So good job from Polly opening things up for his team there. You can see Zek over on the catwalk going to take a little bit of damage there, 36 points of health, but not too big of a deal as of right now. And Strubber's going to find some damage as well. So and there you go. Fruit with the CZ75, something that you don't really see utilized too frequently anymore. And look at this rotation coming on, and they find another one. Justin goes down. He was lurking around in mid, so this nade, though, is going to be good. Ooh, Polly backs up right into it. Smoke around the corner. Now they're trying to squish two through the vents, and they do manage to trade that out. Polly goes down, but Fruit's there for the refrag. But Ellie pushed out from B. Look out, Demise. And there's the headshot, and that's going to leave it all on Fruit once again in a 1v2. And Ellie's got bigger plans, but these ego rounds, both of them have been close. But Mouse Baz not able to solidify it in the long run. Yeah, a lot of damage dealt on him. So nicely done by Mouse Baz. They're going to keep that economy a little bit lower than, than Paradox would like it. But no AWP in the hands of Mouse Baz. And here's where that, you know, I said that mid control is going to be huge. So who's going to have it? Who's going to be able to utilize it effectively? Alrighty, so first gun round now. And it's going to be M4s. But the oh, nades, the counter Lord. nades from... Paradox just completely annihilating Zek, and they do good damage onto another. That's going to be Fruit. And Imsta's going to finally draw some blood for the CT side, but Mainline's going to go back into Polly, and that's going to leave this open area in mid. So mid control, very, very crucial right now, and Paradox is all over it. 
Yeah, and, and now look, they, they got two picks. They've, they're, they're, they're slowing things down now. So you look at the defense, one at B, one at A, and one in middle. Uh, just so spread out, no chance for teamwork, and they're going to be able to isolate this B player. They drop out of vents, and he's only got 12 HP. He's got so much to do. Down to 10 after that nade. They're going to smoke off CT spawn. Fruit has come over to help out. Oh, but there's Fruit peeking out. Combines with Insta, they get two kills, so nicely done by him. That's about as good as you could have expected, and now they've just got to wait for the retake in a two-on-two. -two. So again, coming down to this two versus two, we've seen it a couple of rounds in a row now. That nade! Oh, does a little bit of damage there onto Strebber as he's planting that bomb. They know that he's planting back there by the box in the backside of the bomb site. so we're going to see him go ahead and push in, and... Fruit's going to be able to draw first blood. He's down to 1 HP, but they do manage to find Justin. He's behind the smoke, and look at how well he's playing this one. He's going to go for the peak, though, and Demise is going to punish him for it. And he does have a kit, so the defuse will come in. Mouse Spaz finally on the board, but at what cost? Listen, they got the round, and you're right. It is it is going to be a precarious situation for him, but luckily they did a lot of damage on the eco round. I mean, the economy for, for Paradox isn't that strong at the moment, but, uh, you know, that was a round that Paradox had a massive advantage, and from that nade bombardment very early on to getting that pick on a poly and a four on three, it was really nicely done by Fruit and Imps to even things up and allow that two on two retake to even be a possibility. So we do see a buy out of Paradox here. They have two AK-47s, three tech nines, a lot of utility to work with. And they're just, I mean, they, they know they have the money low in the, in the way of mouse pass, so, so buying here really is, is no question. All right, so it is going to be a couple of Tech Nines here with the armor buy, and they're looking to go for a play towards a bomb site, and this is the pistol round all over again. That pop flash finds Demise, and Silent's going to capitalize on that, but Zek goes back into him. Fruit finds one before he's dispatched by Strubber's Rec 9, and... Going to make his way back around behind Forklift. This nade is going to do some good damage onto Justin behind. Well, actually, it doesn't find any damage at all. I thought that was going to be a pretty detrimental nade, but flashing on around the corner. Strubber's going to get caught out. Zek with a double. Going to be looking for some more as they try to retake this bomb site. And Mainline's going to get in their face. He's not. Uh, didn't think he was going to get that frag, but he does manage to turn it around. And now we're down to a 1v1 again, and it's Justin and Pauly this time. Justin's just got to play the clock, and he's, he's he actually pulls out the Tech 9 for the mobility of it, but he's not able to, not able to pull it out. Pauly. Is he going to have this defuse? I don't think so. I think he's just a second or two late, and he is. It's going to blow up on him, so a nice one-on-one -on -one win for Paradox there, and you're exactly right. It's that piss on that execute into A out the door with the pop flash. So effective against Mouse Spaz at the moment, and that's brutal. They win one, and their economy is completely reset, so a nice hold in a three-on-three -three there for Paradox. They've looked, They've had some pretty strong pop flash and nade executions here so far, whether it's in mid or over towards that A bomb site. And that's going to force the save here for Mouse Spaz as we move forward into the sixth round. And Paradox looking pretty good on their terrorist side. They've already picked up four rounds. So not a bad start for them at all. AKs across the board. No AWPs in play thus far. We haven't seen a not picked up just yet. And now we see some aggression towards A main and popping some shots. Going to find just a hair of damage onto Justin. Force him to fall back from that position. They've gone over for mid control and it looks like they might opt for a maybe a mid B split. That bomb is over by the vents. And Zek is completely smoked out here in Z. Polly's Polly's playing behind the box again, like he did in the second round. I don't think they're gonna fall for it twice. He's got a five-seven this time, and they do. He gets one, but they have teammates <laughs> backing him up. That's able to trade it off, and now it's just up to Emsa at the headshot spot. And this execute's gonna clean out that bomb site. So this round is all the way a paradox at the moment. And this is actually the first. Since the pistol round, this is the first decisive round victory that we've seen so far. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on the scoreboard. We saw four members alive at the end of that first round. Two at the end of the second. Two at the end of the third. One man stand at the fourth for the CT side win. Uh, even up bomb explosion in the fifth. So, I mean, both sides, they haven't really gained any ground as far as the economy is concerned. Obviously, Paradox a little bit better off than the uh, mouse pass side. You can see four from Moss is coming out for this. Maybe they should have opted to go for the double save to get a little bit more utility because they only have one smoke to work with. Yeah, they're, they're feeling the pressure, though, being down one to five. So Imps is going to get an open and kill Fruits right underneath the boost. He does spot one going up. Not able to kill him in time. Not able to kill him at all. Strever cleans two out. And there's a trade into the vents as well. So quickly, quickly a three on two. Both teams really heavily investing in this early round mid control. That was a huge round from Strever. What a flick shot that he hit on, on Fruit. And he almost got the spray down into vents as well. But they do manage to drop the bomb carrier. And that's going to be Ellie going down. Demise. Bleeding internally right now with only 18 points of health, but Justin sitting at 100, so where are they going to decide to go? They push on out through mid, and they've got the defense split completely on opposite sides of the map, but Demise went for the full aggression towards A main to try to maybe flank around in mid, and if given the opportunity, he could meet him over there, but it looks like they're going to get around the corner of Catbox a little bit too early for that one and put that bomb down in the A bomb site, so 
Good play here and good call from the terrorist side. Whoever their endgame leader is is doing a pretty solid job thus far. They're going to make their way up into the A-bomb site and get that bomb planted. Yeah, and interesting that actually Justin leaves main line with 18 HP to clear out the bomb site, and they're being very patient with it. And Melon's just got to risk someone being in quad. They haven't cleaned it out as all, and Demise is going to be at a different angle now. And it's going to be all to Justin over at Truck to pick one off. He hears the footsteps. It looks like he is going to peek out. He misses the shot. Now they know where he is. He's got a never coming up mid, but Demise wins that. It's all on the main line with only 18 HP. He's able to get the first one, but he's still got a lot of work to do and not some health, to, not a lot of health to do it with. He's going to hide over here in quad, and it's all on Imsta. Imsta pushing on through. He's no going to hear the footsteps. Well. Yeah, he's going to have to go for broke on this one, and he has no idea that Mainline's worked his way back around towards quad, and Mainline is playing this extremely smart, and Imsta's going to go ahead and try to save his rifle. No, he goes for the repeek. Could he die with the bomb here? No, he does manage to live. Holds on to the FAMAS. Who trying to salvage an AK at the end of the round? Oh, he can't pick it up? No, it's stuck. It's oh, stuck underneath oh, the Oh, that is box. so unfortunate. Wow. Insult so, uh, to injury. A lot of, I mean, you said it. There's a lot of close rounds, and they're all going in the way of Paradox, and that's the impact of the economy. You know, you said it. That was a very really light buy. They only had one kid on them to start that round out, and that came into play hugely, uh, not having the money to purchase up all the utility, all the kits they would have liked. So, Mousepad is now in an absolutely massive deficit. So, again, we're going to see maybe a little bit of aggression coming towards mid. They push the bomb on out. There's two members out there, and it... Could be a mid-A split this time. They do have one over in A main. They actually boosted one over the top, and they find the B lurker, so that's silent down and out. And Strubber's going to be over here joined at catwalk by his teammate, and they do tap away and find the head of Zach. I'm not really sure where they were getting spammed from, but Strubber is going to be able to control the recoil and takes down Demise, so now they've just got fruit to beat. He's going to be able to find a nice headshot onto Ellie and take him down with the two-tap. And he gets the headshot onto Justin as well. Oh, and he gets the flick shot on Strubber. He's doing tremendous damage in this A bomb site. Polly pushing around from Z. He's going to get caught by mainline, but Fruit. What a round from him. Oh, he's still got a long way to go to make it anything magical. Two kills isn't going to cut it. Mainline's, I mean, both members are low, so he can win this. He's got to do it quick, though. Once again, no kit. Justin's holding an off angle, but he's low on HP, and there's the flick from Fruit. Swings it over very quickly. Now he knows exactly where mainline is, but he can't win that battle, so... Another another round where it comes down to a one-on-one, -on -one and Mainline wins that one, and that's absolutely brutal. Vespas just wins a couple of these. I mean, this half is completely different. Unfortunately, it's not going their way whatsoever. And now with that losing bonus starting to kick into gear, Zach's able to get that AWP. A lot of Colts on their side and two kits. And that could be the turning point right there, putting that up in Zek's hands. I mean, we saw how good he was against uh, Cloud9 earlier on Inferno, picking up a couple of triple rounds with it. We'll see whether or not he can put it to use this round, but... Right now, Paradox is off and running with this one, and they're looking pretty sharp here on their terrorist side. Now, like you said, a lot of these rounds, they could have gone either way. Yeah, just just one of those matches where Mousepads just feels they can't win anything, and that's so demoralizing at times. Insta is now playing behind the smoke. Polly is boosted at vents. He favors playing in this checkers area, whether it's behind the box on the ecos or now in the vents on a lot of gun rounds. And there is a heavy beeling from the terrorist team, but the bomb is undecided. Imsa is going to get an opening kill. As he did last round, right through that through the smoke in front of the box. And look at this, they're gonna go for the Molotov strategy over here at the B bomb site and try to flush him out from headshot, but there's not gonna be anybody home. But Emsta is caught in a very awkward position, pushed out. Not really sure what he was doing there. I know he was kind of mollied out of the site, but he could have probably fallen back into B main or something like that, spraying through the smoke. They're gonna find a little bit of damage on Ellie. It is a 3v3, so again, another close round. They are going to get that bomb planted at that B bomb site, and we are going to be looking for a retake here, possibly. Nade goes up to heaven. He's going to find one point of damage onto Zek. Flash bang to follow. I believe that was actually his teammate's flash. Wasn't able to get it through the doorway. It's only Zek in the site now. He's completely gone down, so they, uh, the plant's four checkers, so this is actually a good spot, but a good retake so far. It's all up to Streber. They're going to smoke off the bomb, but he's going to see it. Not able to connect, not able to transfer the spray. That was so close. 7 and 13 HP. Oh, Strever almost able to pull it out, but there's finally a clutch going the way of Mousepass and a nice retake by them. And again, another close round. It came down to sub-20 total HP from the CT side and a 2v1. So, I mean, how they look at the economy now on the CT side. It's so broken. This is, this is a messed up game, Moses. Well, even on the terrorist Crazy. side, you know, with seven rounds, four in a row, they didn't, I mean, they're forced onto Tech 9 and Armor, so 
And they, they have players who could have bought up rifles, but they just decided not to. And Zach with that op, he's going to get a little bit peaky. He spots him out, and now you see the rotations coming, and you see Imps is starting to lean off B a little bit. Looks like the Three pistol round again. Towards a. And that's exactly what it was, was the pistol round. But look at this, Zach doing work with that AWP, and Demise is going to come in and bail him out at the end. But again, we see that pistol round strategy three times in a row. Well, not three times in a row, but three times now over the course of this matchup. Twice, uh, once on a gun round and once on an eco round. But that time they finally managed to sniff it out and shut it down. But it's a good strategy, and it's worked relatively well. I mean, they're getting into that A bomb site, and they're not able to get control of it, so to speak, at least on that last round. But I like that strategy. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It's all on the timing, whether you catch someone fully or only halfway. And that time, they didn't catch them fully like they have in the past and didn't work out as well. And now Imsta, he's going to throw an A, but here's a pop off his own. Imsta's completely blind. He's got to fall off, and he just gets dropped by Roberts. And it's just up to Polly behind that box. Once again, they sniff it out. They spot it, so they spot him out early, but he's able to get one. He actually doesn't see someone crouching in pit, but he's got to be very careful not to get cleaned out, and he doesn't. He survives long enough, so great play from Polly so far. And the bomb is planted, which is a win for Paradox on the eco round. And... I need, oh, main line with a couple nice kills going back and forth. Still 10 bullets in that Tech 9. Nade's going to come in and end it, though. So good damage done. The plan is down. And once again, so much damage to done to the buddy situation for Mouse Pass. So they have plenty of it, but losing three players there and a lot on the retake is, uh, is not the best. Nice play for main line. Good effort there at the end, and it came down to another 2v1. I mean, so many of these rounds could have been tilted one way or the other, but now Mouse Baz starting to chip away at that lead that Paradox has. Looking to put this at an 8-7 halftime score if they can make a run of it here at the end of this half and take that momentum into the pistol round of the second half. But right now it's really just, you know, Fruit doing a great job. He's sitting at 13-9, and nine, and there's been so many rounds that have just been so close. I mean, this could be, uh, you know, 10 to... 10 to 3 or 10 to 2 right now for Mouse Paz if these rounds went one way or the other. But Zek's going to open things up, silent down and out. And now they're going to go for some aggression in A main. Ellie's going to be able to sniff out Demise and take him down. And now they've got that mid control again on the terrorist side. Yeah, they didn't A execute and then they boosted over mid. So these smokes all say A execute, but two players in mid. Fruit's going to commit to a fight that he shouldn't have. Gets caught off guard. Zek with that AWP now. He gets blinded and pushed back, but. Polly chimes in, so just whittling down this attack, but Zek is still live in the bomb set at this long-range battle, and Imsta finally, on the rotate, comes out connector, and it's all up to Ellie. 2v1 Jumping again. Jumping out of the box, yeah, one on two, and he's going to be able to find one. That's Zek, but he's going to get the bomb planted. He probably knows where Imsta is. Definitely now that the Molotov comes in, he's got to get out of that spot. Imsta is not able to connect it as he bails out of the bomb site. so... Nice swift play and jumping up on the box once again. Ellie's holding the angle, but he loses the fight. Imsta swings out and he gets it. So another one-on-one, -on -one, another retake on for Mouse Pass. So in the first half of this uh, of this half, all the clutches went the way of uh, Paradox, and the last few have swung in the favor of Mouse Pass. Yeah, ridiculous, man. And again, this is the, this is much much closer. I mean, the score line it's getting close now, but this matchup has been much closer than the score line indicates. Yeah, it definitely has. I mean, the, the score's evening out right now, so... And uh, finally, Mouse Pads, once they once they're able to stabilize their economy, once they were able to save and get some ops, get a couple kits and all their utility, they've, they've really, uh, you know, they've won four in a row here, so they're going on a little bit of a tear, and you said the issue in the, you know, so far was that neither team could, could establish an economy, and now that Mouse Pads has done it, you know, they're taking these rounds. Absolutely. So, oh, there it is again. So Silent's going to be over here in Toxic or Useless Room, however you want to call it. But they're going to push on out middle. They are able to spray down one. That's Fruit going down, but Demise is there for the trade. And again, we talked about how important it is to set up for those trades. And they will utilize that in the best possible way. And Demise is going to go ahead and peek out, takes down another one. Doesn't, well, I guess it's his teammate, Paul. He actually got reverse boosted through the vents. That bomb is yeah, down in the bottom side of mid. He actually just pushed up mid and hopped in, so they actually had three players in mid, and now Polly's going to swing out. Can't find it through the smoke. It plumes at the wrong time. He's got an awkward angle. And Silence able to pick off two. Polly's still close. He's in a very awkward position now. And Justin's still lurking this door. He might be able to catch Zek off guard. He opens the door. Oh, the noise. Zek turns right in time. He's able to pick him off. So, all down to Silent now. He knows Polly's close. Picks him off. And he knows... He knows Zek's over towards A, but he's playing it very cautiously, waiting for... He, he thought Zek was gonna, just going to run down highway and get behind the box, but that's not exactly what happened. So, he's going to gather this bomb. He's still got 30 seconds to work with. Yeah, and actually, Zek has rotated his way all the way in towards Z Hall, and if he goes for the peak now, he might get caught out, but Silent's going to work his way through the vents and drop on down into checkers and plant that bomb at the B bomb site. So this is the right call right here, not pushing out through middle. He's going to be able to hear Zek working his way around through vents. 
There's the drop down. Oh, oh. he's so fortunate. Oh, he misses the op shot, though. Doesn't miss that one, and that is going to be a 4K from Silent. A huge round from him. Yeah, what, what fortunate timing for him. He almost gets caught off guard, and that movement to jump down at the headshot box wasn't... Zach wasn't prepared for it, so... Nice round by Silent, absolutely. Four kills, like you said. And it's it's this mid-battle. We see this when the terrorists come middle. There's, I mean, Mousepass is putting three players on it generally pretty early, and you just see this trade of bodies, just bodies thrown at mid-control, and just back and forth. And again, that nade over the top, doing a tremendous amount of damage to Fruit. He's already down to 27, so honestly, if they're, if, if I'm playing CT on Mousepass, I'm not going towards Catbox at the beginning of the round ever again. I mean, they've just eaten nades almost every single time, and they're starting at such a disadvantage because of it. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice nade stack by uh, by Paradox, and they're, you're you're exactly right. They haven't quite caught onto it. I don't know if they forgot about it or just haven't noticed it, but it's doing some damage. That, that first gun round, it, like it was like three nades, and it instantly blew somebody up just right off the map. And now they're gathered over here towards this A hit. There are two members, uh, two members waiting. Fruit with that low HP, and one member demise over behind quad boxes, just trying to spot Silence, trying to get the pick as he jumps back and. All this attention is going to force a third player for Mousepass to be committed here. Zek's going to get the opening pick with the AWP, and here comes the execute. Demise holds strong, grabs one. Mainline swings in, is able to grab one as well as Robert, so it's all up to Demise just for a certain period of time. As these rotates come in, he falls. It's down to a two-on-two, -two, and the defense for this retake is going to be very split. Probably. Roberts is in. Yeah, he's on that quick flank. I'm just going to be able to find Roberts and takes him down, and that's going to leave it all on Justin over here, stuck by quad box, and they know where he is. They have no nades to really work with. They do flash him. Actually, no, he flashed himself, I believe. A little bit unfortunate on that one. Went a little bit too peaky on that. He does manage to take down Insta, but Polly is set up for the trade. They're going to be able to get it done here. They're going to be able to pick up a sixth round now. So we're looking at an 8-7 or a 9-6 halftime score at this point. And Paradox, have they done enough on their terrorist side? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I, it looked great, and this comeback by Mousepass has been fantastic that they stuck with it. Now they've pulled themselves back into the match, and it's going to be a 4-tech-9 buy for, for Paradox. So not, not a great purchase here on the last round of the half, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. You know, we didn't see enough on their... We haven't seen enough of these guys quite yet to make that assessment. We don't have enough on them, but... So far, Mousepass clawing back into this match. Some individual plays have, have pulled them right back into it. And look at this, they're finally going to go for the reverse boost over the top side of mid, and they might be able to pay off on this one. Polly going to go ahead and drop down maybe here in a second. Yes, he is, and he's going to have a couple of them dead to rights in the A main. Oh, he doesn't connect with the spray, and he gets taken down. He only gets one for his trouble. Demai is going to be able to find one from the forklift. He's going to go ahead and push his way in, and Zek is going to be there to pick off another one. So they are making a bid for this one for a 7-8 or a seven, eight halftime scoreline, and there it is. Fruit's going to find one. Justin does go into Demise, but Hemsta is there for the trade. So Mousepaz bringing it back within contention now and an even half. That could have yeah, been 13-2. Uh, very, very nice, a very, very nice comeback from them. and so That was a great first half. I mean, it was just back and forth. <laughs> so many clutches, so many rounds where so many players just fall. So Interesting matchup going on right now between these two teams. And You know, we talked about last season a lot as it went on that, you know, in lower divisions. And, you know, I know they're in the professional league now. Last season they were just in Premier and even in Maine. You know, and even we see it at the professional level, you know, over in Europe is that these halves are starting to get a little bit more even. You know, the terrorist, terrorist teams have been able to figure out how to gain more rounds on some of these maps, so it shouldn't be all that surprising, actually. I'm not surprised. You're not surprised. So 8-7, waiting for second half to start off here. Mouse Spaz with a one-round deficit to Paradox. It's really going to be on this pistol round. Who's going to take the momentum going into the second half? I, it's got to be Mouse Pass. With the comeback that they made, I mean, they've, they've got to feel great. You know, I think they won. They were down like 7-2, to two, and I think they won, you know, all but one of the last, you know, eight rounds or so. so Or six rounds, whatever it might have been. But it was a good tear for Mouse Pass to bring it back, you know, within reach. I'm sure, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm sure both teams are very happy. Mousepaz with that comeback, Paradox with with the eight rounds on a terrorist side. Both teams have got to be feeling good, but Mousepaz definitely is is happy with how they managed to outplay Paradox to end that half. Well, 
Alrighty, so live into the second half pistol round. Robert's already going to go for that early aggression towards A main, but he's not going to find anything over in that area. And playing relatively passive. We've seen a lot of CT side setups on the pistol round where they get overly aggressive at the B bomb site and push two or three, sometimes even four members out towards that area to try to gain control of the map and get those quick rotations over towards the A bomb site. But right now they're going to play very passive, silent, and mainline going to be trying to hold on to this one. They have already rotated one over. And there's the opening frag. Mainline finds one, two, and then he finally goes down, but Silent's going to chime in on Nepali. Looking for another one. That's going to be Fruit, who goes down to Justin's hands. That's going to leave it all on Imsta here from Checkers, and he's going to be dispatched by Silent. What a great hold at the B bomb site. Yeah, Mainline getting those two opening kills. Those are, those are such crucial kills to get because he's playing at that headshot angle, and if they're able to swing wide on you there, it starts to get really, really dangerous, and you start to be at a disadvantage, actually, uh, once your full body starts getting exposed. So those two opening frags from him were crucial, and even Silent chiming in. So great defense over at B. It looked like they got a little bit of a read on it. They had three players over there. One actually came late down towards CT spawn, but now heading into this round, we're going to see three SMGs, two FAMAS. And no buy. No buy out of Mouse Spaz. Yeah, they did pick up a couple of pistols here, so they're lightly invested in this. Only $2,800 for their troubles, but we're going to see what they have for us here in this eco round. Looks like they're going to be gearing up for this A hit. That squeaky door is going to get popped here by Polly in just a moment's notice. Smoke grenade goes over the top. They're going to go ahead and force their way on in, try to brute force it in towards this A bomb site, and spam it away with that MP7 whiteout. Not able to locate anything, but the plant in the smoke, and this is a great play from the terrorist side. Justin does find first blood, now pushing around for the back side of the site. They clean up two. Zek and Demise going huge. And up on the top of the balcony, though, is going to be Ellie, who's going to be able to drop down right on the last member, but that's Fruit, who's going to be able to find one. Finally taken down by Silent, but what a great round there from Mouse Spaz. Yeah, and you know, Paradox lost a little bit too many members there when the it was a little bit of a, a muff rotation when when your teammates come in, you have two in the bomb set already. When your when your teammates come in to rotate to assist, they really need to watch, you know, wrapping through the smoke on that bomb site. It, it happens a lot, and and that's where your teammates have to cover when they rotate over. Someone has to be spotting that for you. Uh, two members in the bomb site and then quad just get cleaned up by that wrap. So that's something they can't let happen on the gun rounds or they're going to be in a lot of trouble. All right. Well, it looks like they are going to be buying up. Heavily invested here on the terrorist side. That bomb plan definitely paying dividends at this point. Trying to get that economy rolling on the terrorist side for Mouse Spaz. But Paradox picking up that pistol round. Puts them in a pretty good position here, but look at this push by S Justin. Oh my goodness, he's going to be able to spray down two. He saw the other two up on top of boost, so they're going to opt to go ahead and push out. No, they drop down and go towards A main. Justin's still in a good position over here. He's going to hear the footsteps coming back around towards his side. And trying to line him up and spray him down. Roberts is going to be able to find two, and Ellie's going to clean up the last one. So a great push from Justin catches him completely unawares. Takes down two of them by boost. Yeah, and that was that was a third round buy. They didn't even have head armor, so you could see he just sprays him down, and the heads just pop. So nicely done by him. Very aggressive, very ballsy, and no one from Mousepad's watching that whatsoever. Having so many players, they had one player at like T red, and, and four players doing the boost. So it's you have so many players on that side of the map, and not one of them is watching for that door push. So. That's brutal for Mouse Spaz. So we talked about them having a lot of momentum uh, making that comeback at the end of the first half, and now it's just gotten torn away from them. So 11-7 to 7 is your scoreline. We saw Paradox come out swinging in the first half of the first half. I know that sounds a little bit redundant, but for the first seven or eight rounds, it was all Paradox. But again, it was very, very close rounds, but that last round, very decisive in their favor, and we're going to see if they can continue to capitalize on that. They're going for a bit of a distraction here at the B bomb site and trying to push this bomb in towards the B bomb site. And that's exactly what they're going to do. It's only one member here, and he's got to do well. He sprays yeah. the second one down. Nice control from him. He's got one more coming up close. He's going to swing out, and he's going to take off fruit as well. So he's got three. Can he go for four or five? His teammate blinds him. Great pop flash from his team. Great support. And there's the ace from mainline. A fantastic hold in a one-on-five situation, getting bailed out by a nice flashbang from his teammate. That's 12 for Paradox. And that round, we've seen so many come down to one or two players left on the winning side. But that round, it's a clean sweep thanks to mainline's heroics. Yeah, that was basically a 1v5 over there at that B bomb site, and he won every single one of those battles. What a great job. He completely clotheslined Demise when he was running in there. Kind of looked funny to see, but what a round from Mainline. And again, yeah, we, we've yeah. seen a lot of individual efforts come uh, come up big. We've seen a couple of, a handful of aces so far in this uh, in this evening of CS, and looks like we're going to see an aggressive push towards the A bomb site here in Strubber all the way over by Lockers. They have no idea that he's already pushed over there, and Nemsa's going to get chipped down a little bit over here through the uh, smoke by... 
Uh, toxic room. And Zek's not prepared oh, for this at all, but wow. he swings over. Nice recovery from Zex. They clean that out. Now you can see immediately the terrorists start running over. They're going to boost one player up, and this is going to be an eventual A split. And there's got to be some response. Silent can't win that battle in mid, so Fruit takes him down, weakens the rotation even more towards A. Now it's all got to be up to Ellie, who gets one, but traded out. That's not good enough. Only one player left. That's Justin hiding in quad, and he gets dropped as well. So some fantastic shots finally from Mousepass come out on this terrorist side. They open up the A bomb site. What? Oh. And that's, uh, <laughs> that's a little, that opens up a little bit of an opportunity. If Mainline can find a kill here pretty quickly, it turns this into a winnable one on two, but already dinked down, so he's playing it very patiently, and now it's his turn to run. Too much damage taken. He's going to stay, though. And he's going to grab one. Can't grab a second. Fruit's going to take him out, but that TK a little bit questionable. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't actually see that. I was watching his POV the entire time. He was clearing his angles. I think that he thought that a CT was going to push around through the smoke by forklift, and... As soon as his teammate peeked, he shot him in the face. So, I mean, nice. it, it wasn't it wasn't all for naught. I mean, uh, maybe if he checked the radar there a little bit, he would have been able to see that. His, but um, in the heat of the moment, I can kind of understand that. TKs happen, guys. They do happen. Yeah, well, when you're down 7-12, they can't happen on a retake. <laughs> so, another early round battle. Actually, that's a, that's a multi top being drafted boost, and Ellie's the only one in middle, and he's... Handling this wonderfully. He's gotten two kills. His teammate falls, but he's still alive over at Sandbags. He gets a third. He can be ready for the man above him. He can't. Amsa finally takes him out. Bombs down in mid, though, and the rotations come in, so not efficient trading from Mousepaz here as they try and take middle. A fantastic job by Ellie. Now down to a one on two. Just Polly in the A bomb site. He's got a lot of work to do, but he's got a lot of time to work with. Yeah, absolutely. And that bomb being dropped all the way down there in the mid is going to be a very tall order for him to recover. And he's got one over there by Z Halls. That's going to be mainline. He's got the other one all the way back in terrorist spawn. So they're very spread out here on the CT side. If he can neutralize one, well, spoke too soon. If he was able to take down mainline there, that would have put him into a really good position in order to win that round. Unfortunately, not yeah. able to do it. That is a that was a very interesting setup, actually. I mean, that's that's an angle that if he comes from A main towards mid, he's more than likely not going to clear it, but so far away from his teammate and so far away from the bomb, even if his teammate falls there and, and Polly's able to just sprint to the bomb and get away, I mean, you have no information of where he's going, but it doesn't really matter. It's all theory crafting because mainline wins the battle. It doesn't even come into play, so now it looks like a heavy B play from the Terra side. Bowser has all five players. This is an eco round, only one armor on Polly. Couple tech nines, no smoke whatsoever, just one pop flash to throw. They did this on an eco round earlier, but Mainline's been the uh, anti eco hero here. Yeah, and we'll see if he can do it again as he's holding over here. And they're gonna go ahead and push on in, finds one, finds two, finds three. Silent's gonna be there for the fourth, and Mainline picks up the last one, so that's nine frags in the last two B pushes from the terrorist side. B is on lockdown on these eco rounds, 23 and 14 for Mainline right now. He's doing work at the B bomb site. Yeah, he yeah, absolutely is. He's about to be so. And you're double bound right now. I don't know what happened. Oh, my call dropped. But you silly goose. It happens. And look at the utility on the mouse pass side. So not not they they have one flashbang to work with. So it's all going to be up to some execute with smokes. But they have nothing to really blind any of their opponents as they enter the bomb site. This is going to be very very tough for them. They can't do the mid control that they tried to do in the past because they don't have the flashbangs to to throw over the boost. And again, Roberts pushed up by lockers. He's going to be looking in the eyes of one or two players as they make their way around. Polly over by Squeaky Door. He might be able to do some damage as Justin is alone over there, but Roberts not going to lose that battle twice. There's the pop flash around the corner. Roberts going to go for the peak, and he's going to pay for it this time. Justin's going to take up that cup and push on in. Okay, but Silent has pushed up aggressively over towards B. He's taken a spot in Sun Room, and now he's going to start flanking. So they have so much information. Unfortunately, Mainline is still in vents. He's going to get the bomb down. He spots it out. And look at the HP on these players. Justin still pushing up at lockers. Roberts went down there, so they didn't expect him to be there again. And, oh, that nade hits Polly in the face and blows up at his feet. So some damage is done, yeah, but that's it's all so under Polly again. <laughs> yeah, that's really unfortunate. And it's pretty much deja vu. And once again, Polly not able to win that one and two. The bomb is basically dropped in the same spot in middle. And I think it's the exact same players, actually, that were in that. Polly is the one, and Silent and Mainline is the two. Yeah, but again, you can just see fragging as a team right now, with the exception of Ellie, kind of slow to the to the punch, but 
24 for Mainline, 21 for Roberts, and 19, 17, and 14 for the remainder of their team. And, I mean, all of the all of the members of the Mouse Pass side, they're fragging together as a team, but unfortunately they're just losing these battles, these 1v2s, these 1v1s. And, I mean, I want to go – I, I want to look at that stat sheet after this is all said and done to see how many clutch rounds they had on both sides. Because the, the Paradox side should be a ridiculous amount of clutch rounds. Ellie, though, is going to be able to open up first. Blood, Polly's going to go back into one. But Silent behind the smoke finds another one. Mainline, who's been an absolute pillar of masculinity over there at the B-bomb site. He's going to fall, though. Polly takes him down, so we're on a two versus two. So, again, another close round. Yeah, Polly's not going to win that battle, though. So here comes a Molotov, and such a tough spot for a fruit to be in now. Another one on two. Bomb down. He's over at the headshot spot. The smoke's about to clear over towards CT spawn, and he's looking the wrong way. Justin peeks it, and that's going to be the last match of the evening going the way of Paradox.